up with the rest of the crew all the cars pulling in <laughs> Beamer frame. You guys join us out here with a group of M cars. And we're getting ready for Beamer Invasion out here in Los Angeles. Already we have a nice lineup. Different G80s, G82s. We got the South Power Yellow. Got an orange one. Got a gray one. Got my M4 right there. We even have Felix's beautiful purple fully kitted out G80 M3 manual. Another purple one as well. A red one over there too. We even have a nice 2 Series as well. Man, I'm just loving these G82s. Just look at the seats on this one, man. Damn, here goes the boy Sasha pulling in. The M8 comp looking incredible. Another G80 M3. This is a clean color on it, like a military tan type color. Jeez. Nice E92. And look at the satin red on this one. That sounded good. Getting the M8 stickered up. What do you Yeah. Yeah, we do. No, it's like a. This thing's tuned to a lot of power. Just put some intercoolers in there as well, even jury intakes. And you're gonna be taking this on the eighth mile drag strip today at Beamer Invasion. So it'll be nice to see what kind of time this car runs. Toyo R triple eight tires on the car. Here's the sticker. It sounds insane. Looks good. Ready to go. The pre meet is really coming together. We got a lot of nice M cars here. Supercharged E92, whole bunch of G80s, G82s, not to mention this F80 with PBS wheels, man. I mean, come on. This is what a stock G82 sounds like. Competition and everything. Pretty quiet, pretty tame. But you guys will hear some of these G80s on the road are fully modified. This one right here, full acropomic exhaust. The whole ordeal done of this and a few other G80s here, so it'll be nice to see them on the road. Can't forget about this clean E92 M3 is made in plenty of our vlogs. Look at the seats on this thing. It's manual, BMW performance seats, Alcantara steering wheel. It's nice to see an old tool E92 M3 coupe next to the G80 M4 coupe. Which one do you guys like more? And next to this red G80 M3, we have an E90 M3. So you kind of see the different generations, the progression between the two cars as far as design. Obviously V8 versus inline six twin turbo. And here goes the engine bay of Felix car. Super clean as well, full carbon fiber plenum. Just a couple of too. I mean, things done. Ready to start the motors up. About to get on the road and head to the racetrack. There's two series behind us. That looks good. It's not the M M240. I like the mods he's done to it. That must be one of our boys right there, G80. Damn, look at this. Oh, it's M Town. Back in M-Town, if 
feels incredible. <laughs> so Sasha getting active in the M8. <laughs> See, if I was living in any of these residential homes, I would love to wake up to this soundtrack.
Owendale Speedway. Let's go ahead, pull a park up, and enjoy the event. <laughs> We got the M4 parked up with the rest of the crew. We're gonna walk around a bit, check out some of these cars. And we also gotta get some food, man, I'm pretty hungry. You kinda see the vibe, they got a whole bunch of food stands. All the cars are here for the VIP parking that way. You got the mountains, the clouds. Man, I got the M4 CSL looking good out here too. I mean, just look how many BMWs out here. This is pretty wild. Damn it, right off the bat, we can check out this wide body 850 V12. I believe this is a CI. But if this is a CSI, it's even crazy. It's got the wide body kit, it's deep dish wheels, beautiful red interior. It's even got the phone in the middle. That's gorgeous. Come around back. Sick. Not only that, this thing also has a nice exhaust system as well. Full spoiler on it. This wide body kit looks absolutely phenomenal. What do you guys think? I think another nice touch on this, the mirrors on this are straight off like my E39 M5. Some of the older style M cars, kind of circular mirrors. Really nice spec. Damn, we just walked over here towards the show VIP section. I mean, just look how many beautiful BMWs are over here. Everybody's getting them all cleaned up. It's a nice pink one. You don't often see a spec like this. This is really cool. But also look at that interior, the roll cage, carbon buckets, white. Starting to see more and more of these new M2s look phenomenal in the satin black color. Frozen, nice wheels on it too. Speaking of M2s, this is the cleanest M2 build I have ever seen. Look at the BBS wheels, the fenders, just the whole body kit on this car is phenomenal. But that's not enough. Look at the interior. Full CSL bucket seats, roll cage, manual transmission as well. Just check out the rear end on this thing, full spoiler on it. I mean, it's a nice M2, don't get me wrong, but also look at this G82 M4. The spec on this is phenomenal. It looks like British Racing Green, BBS wheels, and it has an orange interior with the carbon buckets, roll cage, manual too. Oh my God, this is so nice. And obviously we have Felix's car looking proper. This time he rolled down the window so we can see that beautiful interior. His is also a manual. It's got that detachable steering wheel, the white and black carbon buckets, and then silver roll cage, BBS wheels. You can kind of see the wheels go perfect with the roll cage as well. Purple paint, solid car. And then also the color on this M4 is pretty wild. I mean, I haven't seen this color before. I really like it. Right here, we get a chance to see a carbon fiber plenum on the E92 M3. I believe it's the S65 motor right here. Just look at the intake down low, feeding it right up in there straight to the engine. It's on the inside of this too. How cool is this? This is cool. This is that M2 race car that we pulled in with. Full blown race car. Just look how small the mirrors are in this thing. Fully stripped interior, dual clutch transmission. You can tell this car definitely has some track time. Really cool to see these things used. Cool BMW. I'm not sure what kind this is. I've never seen this, but this is awesome. Kind of shows you how far the cars have come. There's was a wide body V10 M5, the proper mods, HRE wheels. We'll also look at the interior through seats from the F80 M3 comp. All this carbon fiber, it's got the LED shift lights. Oh my God. This is something you don't see often, a wide body kit M4. Really cool, really unique as well. Just how big the wing is, these fenders pop out. And not to mention the front end, the grills on these are fully opened up to feed all the air in there. G82 M4 pickup truck. What do you guys think about this? Pretty cool. The spec on this M8 Grand Coupe is pretty cool. It's got the proper mods on the engine bay. It's the same interior the first M8 I ever drove back when they just released. Nice wheels on it. And this G80 has a big single turbo. Wow. I mean, there are literally cars everywhere, but I'm super happy that we got here pretty early so we can enjoy the show without all the people here. Literally any direction we're gonna go, we're gonna see something insane, including, well, this right here. The full wide body U92 race car, roll cage, seats. I mean, everything's done to this one. Let's look at it from the rear end. It's also got plates on it too, so you can drive this on the street. I love the Austin yellow on the E46 M3. These are just so timeless. Look at all these M's just tucked off in this corner. This looks pretty cool. 
a full engine. I see a turbo, spin out the exhaust. Look at that. And over here, we got some serious M cars, man. This is nice. Got the gold wrapping. S55. But I gotta say, I've never seen a yellow M8. This is beautiful. Got all the right carbon pieces. Nice black interior. Look at the rear end of this thing as well. That spoiler, G Power spoiler. And this is phenomenal. Mm, United 2 sounding good. It's idling. See all the cars pulling in. I mean, this wraps up all the way out to the main street. Well, here is the E39 M5 wagon. Beautiful BBS wheels. Alpine white as well. And over there is a nice V10 M5 as well. Would you guys are taking the E39? for the E60. They also have a woman's Beamer Club up here, which is awesome. Yet another M4 CSL, looking so good, man. Right here we have a couple of I8s. This one kind of looks like uh, Laguna Seca Blue on this one, but behind that, it's a wide body I8. Both looking really good. Those are clean, old school, 2002. That's nice with the Marlboro livery on it. Look at the wide body supercharged E92 and 3 in yellow. That is really cool. <laughs> by the drag strip. It's about an eighth mile strip. Sasha with almost 1,000 horsepower M8 comp is gonna be running his car to see what kind of time it runs. So it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of car is gonna be running on this strip. But more importantly, his car specifically, I'm very intrigued and interested to see what time he comes up with. Over there, you have the main meet. My car is kind of over in that direction. You got all the mountains, the clouds. And then right here is the drag strip itself. It stretches all the way down there. So it should be a nice enough stretch. Obviously, we prefer quarter miles. This is good enough as well. There goes Sasha getting them warm. It's like he's going up next to an E30. sounded wild. I'm guessing single turbo setup. And now you guys can see how many people have turned up just at a drag strip event alone. It was completely empty out here a second ago. This time, Sasha's going up against another MA Comp Coupe. Not sure the tuning on that one, but let's see.
Rossi and Sasha's car, do all the drag racing. He had a lot of good runs. I think he got down to like a 6.7 in the eighth mile, which was really good. I think the fastest car we saw out here today ran a 6.5, so that's phenomenal. Apparently, they're going to be doing a drift event on a skid pass. So we're about to go over there, check that out, see what kind of cars are going to probably be over there getting cracking. D80 wagon all the way from the UK. This is nice. Right hand drive, check out the interior on this. Man, the fact that it's a full wagon though, this is awesome. Dry carbon fiber in the interior.